The International Committee of the Red Cross has described Israel's blockade of the Gaza Strip as a violation of the Geneva Conventions and is calling on the Israeli government to lift it. In a statement released last week, the organization called the blockade collective punishment, a crime under international law. It describes Gaza as a territory plagued by frequent power cuts, a ruined economy, and a collapsed health care system. The report says, quote, Gazans continue to suffer from unemployment, poverty, and warfare, while the quality of Gaza's health care system has reached an all-time low. Meanwhile, an Israeli human rights organization has released a report noting that 95% of Gaza's factories have closed, that 98% of residents suffer from blackouts, and that 93% of Gaza's water is polluted. Even if the blockade were to be lifted soon, as many demanded after last week's deadly Israeli raid on a blockade-busting flotilla, recovery could take years. Production lines have fallen into disrepair. Entrepreneurs have moved investments abroad. Men forced into idleness have lost their place in society. Gaza was working poor before, but economists say the blockade closed off any chance of development. Economist Mohsin Abu Ramadan said, quote, We have been transformed from a productive society into one dependent on handouts. Currently, Israel only allows in a few dozen types of goods, such as potato chips, frozen meats and medicines, but bans raw materials, including construction supplies and virtually all exports. Gazan resident Alam Hamada said, quote, It's my feelings that Israel wants to create terrorists. Imagine you lose everything you have, your income, your car, all that you hold dear. You'll be a different person.